Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we have got a new update in the form of Light It Up update 25.1 now so yeah pretty unexpected I didn't think we would be seeing an update for a while but yeah this seems to have a lot of bug fixes in it and that should hopefully be good because I've I've just had a quick peek through some of the um, patch notes as well which I've got up here and there's a lot of glitches that I recognize that have apparently been fixed so that is good but yeah we'll get into those um, in a second but we'll go over the main stuff first obviously uh, Light It Up we can now get city lights on any planet now this is something we've been asking for and i've always um, said i'd like to see for for years and it is finally in the game we don't have to spawn in hundreds of rocky planets trying to get them by random chance we don't have to go in the game files uh, and the planet files anymore we can get them in game right here right now so that is pretty awesome so we're gonna be checking that out we've also got some lighting improvements and then some general fixes so we'll go ahead and check out the um city light option first so i believe you can do it on any planet so we're gonna hop to where can we go we could go Let's, let's just use Pluto, actually. Let's, this is good old Pluto, actually, out here. So we can head all the way over here. So obviously very, very dark. So it could be quite a good place to do the city lights. So if we go to appearance, right. So city lights. Okay. So on. And there we go. Check that out. And there's also seeds. You can, you can have any... You can have the earth lights as well so you, in theory you could make custom earths and stuff but i believe you can change the value here and then the city lights will change so you can have an unlimited like pretty much an unlimited amount of different city light types now that's awesome now i'm, I'm probably gonna have to try and make some systems with all this because we could do a crazy solar system terraform video with city lights on absolutely everything we can change the surface colors uh, that's all in the game i think we should do that i think that'd be really cool um but yeah we can have any city lights i don't know if we can change the color of the city lights that may still be unique to modern but yeah i do have some planets that have colored city lights and so maybe i could somehow try and bring those in and get those to customize actually i'm gonna try that right now I'm going to see if the old modded objects, those coloured lights still work. So we'll go to the add menu here and we're going to see um, what's um, up there. But, but while that opens, I'm going to go over the uh, improvements and fixes and stuff. So they've improved the um, atmosphere lighting. They've revised visuals of hot craters. Um, so basically just a bunch of visual stuff. They've also fixed a problem where lots of objects are at minus 273 degrees. So now they're, they're going to be um, corrected. And I believe Sun Moon's actually spawned at minus 273. So I think that's been fixed as well. But yeah, there we go. So onto the fixes. They fix an issue where fragments from a collision would be launched at an incorrectly high speed. So we've probably all seen that um, when we've been playing around the game. Fix an issue causing objects to be stuck at minus 273 if too many objects are added to the simulation. Yes, we have seen that many, many times that was quite a common one fix an issue causing a row of surface grid data to be incorrect on some minor objects fix an issue causing jagged shadow edges to be seen at certain viewing angles yeah we definitely see some stuff like that um, fixed issue where fragments that are further fragmented are named incorrectly fix an issue where the first object added when paused would appear to have a layer of ice until the simulation was unpaused we did see a lot of frozen glitched objects and stuff like that so that was that was very annoying so that's good that's fixed it's also they've also fixed some simulations with that had some wrong objects um fix an issue of adding object whole systems where you could add multiple systems at once fixed issue star temperatures to fluctuate and then a fixed issue causing atmospheres on random rocky planets to not be visible so that is a that's a big one because that was quite annoying when i was trying to get my pluto atmosphere to work so um yeah that's good to see that and then also the new features city lights um you can now add those um there's a blog button on the main menu and yeah randomized city lights that is really really cool and yeah just a bunch of fixes with the tools and gravity settings and, and things like that also if you guys have got the game you can read the um, patch notes on steam as well so yeah that's um with that all out of the way we can get into the um interesting stuff now so we're gonna have a little experimentation around the game we're just gonna see um see what we can do so i'm gonna go to the custom so i'm gonna use transor here this one's a good example so this one has red modded city lights or it should have and it still has a tint on it so if i so the city lights are down at the moment if i re-add them we should have colored lights so illuminate always so okay so city lights on and there we go so they've reset to earth they never used to have earth city lights so we can obviously turn that off but yeah there we go so now any objects that you have tinted from older versions if you use these new um city light settings you can get your colored city lights back that's probably the only way you can do it without having to mod the files is only if you have planets already that um, can do it. So in theory, you still do have to mod the files unless you can get them off the workshop or somewhere. But yeah, it's good to know that these planets can still be used. Or these planets, although they've been ruined a long time ago from the surface grids, they can now be used as templates to make new creations since we can get randomized cities. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. So we just keep clicking this. We can get just 
infinite amounts of city light types so that, that's cool i really like that and I'm, I'm very very glad they added that so we can just try it with a bunch of different ones here just to get an overall view oh i should see if i can get um green city lights on anything i've got with a green tint because we always like those so do i even have anything that's green object tinted? i don't know if i do after just spawning a bunch of um, planets and we'll just see, um, get the overall sort of look. I know um, Hyper there, that was a green tint, that was a gas giant though, but let's just spawn in a bunch of random objects. So there we go. Um, here we go. Yeah, I think I think we can roll that. So there we go. Right. Now, so with Pascal, if we just click on, turn that off. There we go. So that should have, so if Hattable, we want always. There we go. So we can get them on Pascal there. Obviously not really too much since this is a very old version of it. Uh, we can try it with this crazy green one as well. Those clouds look um, pretty interesting. They look slightly different on the menu up here. Or is that just me? Um, but yeah, always. And then switch them on. So again, they're the regular color. Um, if I go to this one here. Okay, so this one was a yellow tinted object. So this one should have yellow lights on it. There we go. So yeah, they're slightly different to normal. And then um, get that on random. So yeah, although they do look fairly similar to normal, they do have a yellow tint on them. So that's quite cool. So yeah, they all work. But yeah, these are just all examples. So yeah, it looks like old modded objects will still have still have a use i mean look at that we've got pink city lights there on that one hyper here i believe had lights although it was there was one of the gas giants with a um atmosphere so it's one of those special modded ones so this one also had lights there we go and we'll see this used to have earth lights but now we can get random lights on the gas giant which is quite cool because you can never do that before uh what about green god here so this one is a crazy green green tint as we can see so how about this one so there we go we've got lights on that sadly they're not green though i have to see if i can i could probably tint one myself actually i don't know how to do it so i have to make some templates and um, for that as well but yeah that'd be really awesome but yeah guys let me know should i do a uh, a new colonizing the solar system video of this new city light feature and obviously since now if we go back to pluto here since we couldn't do this before but yeah we can now do this as well so if we go to appearance surface colors we can put on custom so now in theory we could so we want to make a quick colonized look in pluto for instance we could just do something like this and then add some city lights to it i reckon we need a i reckon a colonized solar system would be absolutely amazing with this feature and i could definitely bring in some modded objects into the mix as well i think that'd be really really awesome so yeah there we go there so yeah that's um, all of that but i believe there was another feature that i saw in uh, one of the discord servers and i believe it had something to do with atmosphere thickness so i want to see if this is legit or not because I, I i don't know but i think i saw someone mention something on this. so we want to go to surface uh atmosphere Where, where's our atmosphere so down here I saw someone with an option where you could make the atmosphere thicker. So I don't know if that was... I don't know if I was just seeing things or I misread it. But I, I saw someone that had a version of the game that had an option to increase the thickness of atmospheres. Or, or it had something along the lines of that. It wasn't mentioned in the patch notes. But I'm pretty sure I saw something on this. So I'm just having a brief look at it now. Just to see if I can try and find it. But I, I definitely saw something earlier with this opacity feature which was to make the atmosphere thicker so that's something we wanted as well but maybe, maybe it won't work on those if i just spawn in a random a brand new random moon so something like that so what if we roll with this stuff so let's see you there right now we're going to click on that so and also we need to add an atmosphere to it so let's just do oh and has it already got an atmosphere no no atmosphere on there so just quickly add an atmosphere in and it's fixed it now the atmosphere is all showing up on rockies again but i'm not seeing any oh atmosphere scale height yes how do we edit that can we, can we edit on mars scale height is that is that what we need I, I don't know we can't edit it no atmosphere scale height was that is that is that it there scale height i, d I don't know i don't know if that's the option or not i i i, I do not know so I have to see if I can look into this. But yeah, here we go. So I'm looking. I'm just looking on one of the chats now in the Universe Sandbox Discord. And yeah, oh, okay. So it was. You know, they were just showing it. Maybe it'd work. Okay, never mind. That's just me being silly. I misread it. So yeah, this option here though, this scale height, that didn't used to be there. So maybe we'll eventually get an option where we can increase the thickness of an atmosphere. So in theory, we could turn. So if I was to get a green, just one of the green. So yeah, one of the green objects, for instance. So if I just had a a brand new green atmosphered object here so if i just spawn that in and i wanted to make this atmosphere thicker well if i had this option i could do it and make it from this so that one also you can see down to the surface i know it's very very green but yeah trust me it is that's got the basic um surface under there so we just make it there you go so you can see you can see straight to the surface with a very very thin lime green atmosphere but with this one 
This one's completely, completely thick. I mean, look, you can see that atmosphere is very, very thick. I can change the color of the surface all alike. You cannot see it through the atmosphere. So may maybe this option down here, may maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be able to change this at one point and increase the level of it to get something like this, maybe? I, I don't know, but... It seems like um, that's still um, up there, but yeah, never mind. So that's not actually in the game. That's just people um, or suggesting it in the server. See, I did misread that there. But yeah, really, really cool stuff. And I'm um, yeah, up the city lights. That is definitely obviously the highlight of this because the rest of it is all bug fixes. But yeah, that is. I'm, I'm good to see um, bug fixes because yeah, the game right now it's it's not been in the best state it's ever been in. That, absolutely, it is. It's, it's, it's seen better days. I'm sure we can all agree on that. But hopefully, with these bug fixes, it will get rid of some of the ones that are almost making it unplayable because some of the glitches we have came across and it was in some of the recent videos where we had this really weird glitch with earth like flashing on all of the planets and stuff it was one of the one of the recent ones where we um put two suns in i think it was that video and yeah it just had crazy glitches with earth but yeah hopefully that would all be fixed now and just silly things like that i mean that was more of a funny side glitch but the glitches where objects are constantly frozen and all that they claim it's fixed so i'll take their word for it and yeah that's that's um good news so yeah, if we can, um, maybe if I just open up a simulation, so I know a lot of you guys' custom systems, I know those seem to be broken sometimes, They're all, the objects are sometimes frozen in those, so what if I try, actually I'll, I'll just open, I'll open one of my simulations here, so if I go in here, were all these objects broken? Okay, I'm not sure if they will, maybe, maybe the bug fixes will fix it, but yeah, maybe that's a... A bad example there but i want to try and find a simulation where all the objects were broken because we we definitely had a lot of those so if i just try the blossom system here again because i think this was one um that had a lot of like really really cold objects so let's just see if it would open okay there we go so this is one of you guys's systems so let's see let's see the settings so maybe any any broken objects uh, it looks like when you want to find them you can't find them now or maybe it's just because the game actually fixed it and they've actually removed those minus 270 glitched objects but yeah we all saw it anyway so yeah i'm, I'm gonna stop um acting like a fool trying to find it when i i don't know the simulation they're in but yeah we all saw it where objects were just completely frozen at minus 270 so hopefully that has fixed that oh that's all fixed now so we won't see anything like that anymore so i'll see this object right here it's at minus 270 there's no stars but as soon as we add a star in it should it should just start warming the planet up with no problems so there we go our stars in here so okay it's at minus 270 but we should start to see that increase so yeah so they say it's fixed with the minus 270 stuff so if we put it to zero degrees there you go it warms up because sometimes you do or it is still going down but um yeah it should um it shouldn't go all the way to minus 270 now since it is getting that starlight so let's just let's just have a little experiment here let's see okay so yeah there we go so we're seeing it's not going straight down but we'll have to really just let it let it go and let, we'll just have to see if it goes to minus 270 then the glitch may still be around but yeah we can see it sort of peaking out at minus uh 90 minus 88 minus 90 there so we can see yeah the glitch isn't around it's just because we picked quite a, a star that wasn't really too powerful but i'm pretty sure if we uh increase the power level of this guy so if we put it up to yeah this is a very dim star if we put it to five suns then we look at this yeah that but yeah okay so we're seeing we're seeing some um good improvements already because yeah those frozen objects no matter what you did to them they still say that minus 270 but at least they can warm up with stars and stuff now so hopefully the game performs like this all the time um where we don't see any of that trouble anymore because yeah that was that was quite frustrating for a lot of people trying to make systems as well i saw uh, yeah you just couldn't you couldn't get planets the temperature you wanted you you could tweak around with the atmosphere all you want you could put it to 180 m you could get the albedo exactly how you want it you could put it as close to the star as you wanted it but it's still saying at minus 270 but it's good to see it um that appears to be fixed now so yeah there we go so that's just one of many um glitches but um that are hopefully fixed but obviously if you guys have the game as well definitely um play around in it with any glitches you knew um how to um like activate and then just see if they're fixed or not if they're not just make sure to report them um to the developers on their forums or in their discord server but yeah with that all out the way guys that does it for today's um update um sort of um video so yeah really really cool um stuff but there's a lot of bug fixes in here obviously the city lights as well really really like that i think that's really cool and yeah i definitely think i'll have to do some sort of new version of a colonized solar system video maybe we can do it a trappist one as well and we can really make it unique with the city lights and all that now because we never could do that before but yeah with those city lights we could probably make some pretty interesting stuff there guys so yeah let me know um if you want to see that video because i think that'd be really cool but yeah that out of the way guys um yeah like i said i hope you enjoyed um, today's video let's see him go for 40 likes for the new update video as well guys also subscribe if you're new helps us on the journey to 13,000 subscribers for more universe sandbox um videos and a bit of space engine in there as well um but yeah that all out the way um guys make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video 
goodbye.